Are you worried about smudging all that glorious art you just colored? Thinking about using fixative spray but not sure where to start? Today I'm going to quickly show you how to spray fixative. And watch to the end for my top three fixative suggestions that you need to try. Okay, what is fixative anyway? It is basically a resin mixed with something to evaporate quickly, like alcohol. Some novices will resort to using hairspray instead of fixative, but don't. Please, for the love of all that is good and creative, do not use hairspray. Your art deserves better. Before we dive in, there's a fixative disclaimer. With any fixative, some of the sheen of your original art will disappear after spraying. Also, your darker tones will naturally have a deeper color after they are sprayed. But the colors are not actually altered. Instead, the fixative shows what the colors look like without small, independent grains reflecting stray light. With practice, you can plan ahead for these changes in your art. I suggest testing colors with fixative on scrap paper so you can see how the color will look. Also, there is a smell with fixative sprays. Like, always a smell. Just plug your nose and spray. All right. Next, I'll tell you the steps to spray on fixative. Then I will show you with one of my pastel colorings. Here are the steps. One, ventilate. Set up in a well aerated area, or at least crack open a window. If you are not sure if your room has proper airflow, take it outside. Two, set it. There's nothing more frustrating than chasing a floating piece of paper with a spray can. Set your art so it does not move around or jostle. Tape the paper edges down with painter tape. Uh, I'll include a link to my favorite tape in the video description for you. Three, spray once. Pass the spray across your art in one direction. Let's say horizontal. We'll go with horizontal lines first. Four, spray twice. Next, spray over your coloring in the opposite direction. That would be vertical. But you can switch it up if you prefer vertical first, then do horizontal second. You do you. Five, be gentle. Remember, light, gentle coats are better than one heavy coat. Too much of anything can be bad, and too much spray on your paper can cause warping. Gasp. Number six, dry. Allow each coating to dry fully before spraying again. Leave your art in a ventilated space and give it time to dry. Don't rush. This is a great moment to go take a bathroom break. And now, let me take my art outside and show you how I spray fixative. Hi everyone, okay, so the underpainting or underlayer of pan pastel has been applied to the image here. Next, we're gonna spray it with fixative. And yes, I am outside. Whenever possible, be sure to spray in a well-ventilated area or outside, if possible. Uh, you just don't wanna be breathing in too much fixative, especially if you spray it a lot on a lot of your art. Today, I'm gonna be using the Krylon works workable fixative uh, and what we're gonna do first is shake it and before I started recording I was shaking it a lot. You're gonna want to shake it for about two minutes. Shake, shake, shake. Next, before you spray it, always do a little test spray off to the side. You want to make sure that sprayer is working, make sure you're getting a nice gentle mist. And what we're going to do, we have the image nice and supported here, it's not wobbling around, and I'm gonna go back and forth First, I'm gonna do horizontal, then I'm gonna do vertical. Very light, gentle spray, not getting too close. If you can see here, I'm not going right up against it. I'm getting a nice distance from the image itself, from the pastel. I don't wanna soak the paper with fixative. I just want a gentle misting. This is workable fixative, which means when it dries, I will be able to keep working right on over it, but this will help keep that pastel in place. So first, like I said, we're gonna go horizontal, like that, and then vertical. Ooh, I can smell it. All right, vertical. All right, now they say to give it an like uh, about 10 minutes before it's dry, give it an hour. I usually like to actually let it sit overnight. Uh, just give it enough time to thoroughly dry and also air out because I don't want to be smelling this while I'm working. 
Okay, what do you think? Have you sprayed with fixative before? Would you try it on your art? Leave a comment, let me know. Next, as promised, I'll share with you my top fixative suggestions. But first, if this video is helpful or inspiring on your artistic journey, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next video. And if you really want to go next level, then sign up for my monthly studio newsletter. You'll get freebies like free coloring pages, the latest drawing and coloring tutorials, and special access to coupons and sales in my coloring shop. The link to my newsletter is in the video description. Okay, here are my three favorite fixative sprays, and I'll put links to each of them in the video description for you. They include one, the first, the spray I just used, the Krylon Workable Fixative. It's double safe because it's acid-free and archival. Plus, this fixative will safeguard your art from yellowing, wrinkling and smudging, but it is not fade resistant. Some artists use this as a workable fix it formula. That means it's useful for layering colors and correcting nearly completed ones. For real though, uh, you need to be patient when you use this spray. Make sure you let it dry for at least 30 minutes after spraying. 30 minutes. Set that stopwatch and go get a snack and a drink of water while you wait. Two. Next is the Lasco Fine Art Fixative. This is a delicate fixative spray. That means it's kind to your lighter colors and highlights and doesn't alter them too harshly. It claims to be a workable fixative, but I'm always hesitant to rework after spraying with this one. Also, it dries fast and has a great matte finish. However, Due to the gentleness of the spray, it is not the most hardcore protection. It will keep your colors in place, but if you rub them, they will smudge. And three, last but not least, is the Windsor and Newton's Artist Fixative. This spray is fantastic for colors who work in graphite, pastel, pencil, and chalk. It provides smudge and dust protection, but it's also workable. So spray it on, let it dry, then keep working. But don't worry, it dries pretty quickly, so it won't disturb your creative process too much. It stops colors from fading and applies a slight bit of texture for your next layer of color. However, all this layering can't go on forever. I'm going to say stop after 12 layers. Seriously, 12 is the max. Fantastic! So this was a quick review of Fixative and how to use it. And I know some of you are saying that you want to go next level, especially with finding more art supplies. Well, there's a playlist for that. Go check out my playlist on YouTube all about different art and coloring supplies. And as always, stay creative!